Hi there. Now, if you've watched the previous video where I showed you how to work out an angle in a right angle triangle given two sides, then this is just a follow up exercise for further practice. So we've got to find the angle theta then in these three triangles, given the answer to one decimal place. So if you'd like to try this, just give you a moment to pause the video. When you come back, I'll display numerically the three answers and then I'll take you through the work solutions. Okay, welcome back then if you had a go. So let's see how you got on. Let's just display the three answers for you. Number one then is 67.8 degrees, two is 33.3 degrees, and three is 48.8 degrees. Remember, they're all given to one decimal place. Well, as promised, I said that I'll take you through the answers if there were any problems. The first thing you've got to do, though, is always name the sides. So we're always given two sides in each of the triangles. And so for this first triangle, the side opposite the right angle, remember, is the hypotenuse. It's the longest side of a right angle triangle. This side uh, here would have been the opposite side. This side here is the adjacent side. We only need to concentrate on the two that are given, remember. In this triangle, this side, 5.1 meters, is the opposite side, and the side opposite the right angle, the longest side of the right angle triangle, is the hypotenuse. And in number three, we've got this side, 10.4 millimeters, that's the opposite side to the angle theta and this side here is the adjacent side. Okay so when you've labeled them we've just got to work out which trigonometric ratio you'll use for each one of these questions. For number one the trigonometric ratio that connects the adjacent and the hypotenuse is the cosine ratio. For number two it would have been the sine ratio okay, for opposite and hypotenuse. And number three, it would have been the tangent ratio that connects opposite and adjacent. Okay, well, let's just go through number one. Remember, that was the cosine ratio. So we'll take the answers off. And for number one, you should have had the cosine of angle theta equals the adjacent side of 3.1 over the hypotenuse 8.2. Work this out as a decimal you should have 0 0.3780 and so on. And then to get the angle theta, we take the inverse cosine of both sides. Remember to have your calculator in degrees mode and you should find you get 67.78 and so on, which when rounded to one decimal place is 67.8 degrees. Now for question number two, for the opposite and hypotenuse, that was the sine ratio. It would be the sine of angle theta would be the opposite side over the hypotenuse. That gives us this answer, okay? Sine theta equals 5.1 then divided by 9.3, which is 0.5483 and so on. And then taking the inverse sine to both sides gives you 33.25 and so on. And to one decimal place, that's going to be 33 Point three degrees. And finally, for number three, with the opposite and adjacent sides, this was the tangent ratio. The tan of the, an angle theta equals the opposite over the adjacent. So for that one then, we've got tan of angle theta equals 10.4 divided by 9.1, giving us 1.1428 and so on inverse tan both sides and you end up with theta equaling 48.81 and so on which is 48.8 degrees to one decimal place. So that wraps this video up for now and hope that's been able to give you some support on problems like this. Okay 